Okay, this is question 12 in the holiday prep, and it said create a subroutine to return child or adult or pensioner. These are strings, notice. I'm missing quote there, actually. Um, these are strings, depending on a certain, whether somebody's a certain age. So if I said to, some, said to you, is the person I'm thinking of uh, a child, an adult, or a pensioner? They go, oh, it depends on their age. And age, therefore, is the parameter to the function. So def. Uh, let's, what should we call that? That's the sort of the age type, perhaps. Age type. And the age type depends on their age. So we're going to say, now, if they're a child, then they're less than 18. So let's do that to start with. So if age is less than 18, then we're going to return child. Okay. Else, ah, we've got an elif now, so we can say, l if age is greater than or equal to eighteen, and their age is less than the pensionable age, which at the moment is sixty-six, and we're going to return adult. Ah, oh, so it's less than sixty-six. If they become sixty-six, they are a pensioner. So. Uh, greater than or equal to 18 and less than 66, then they become uh, an adult. Else, the only other option left is if they are a pensioner. So we're going to return pensioner. Okay, let's just check that. So if somebody is less than 18, then they're a child, so we return child. Otherwise, it's somewhere between uh, 18, including 18, but less than 66, then they are an adult, else they're a pensioner. Let's test that out. Print uh, age type, and let's try an age of seven. So we're expecting that to say child, because a seven-year-old is a child. There we go, child. And uh, let's try now our, uh, if you're at the 18, you become an adult. So there's your adult. And let's now try... Um, four-year-old and they're an adult and let's try an 84-year-old we certainly expect them to be a pensioner it's quite useful to test this actual 66 here so when if somebody actually is 66 they should be a pensioner and they are indeed so we're happy with all of those different types of tests we'll actually discuss different types of testing this term